Hi fellas, welcome back to the Sterlings Global channel. My name is Jay and I'm one of the account specialists of Sterlings Global, a UK-based accounting firm specializing in e-commerce and traditional businesses. Today, we will discuss why and how sole traders become VAT registered. Are you a sole trader in the UK? Should you become VAT registered? You may feel overwhelmed by the prospect of registering for VAT or unsure how it could benefit your business. In this video, we'll explore why and how sole traders become VAT registered in the UK and what it means for your business. Why become VAT registered? First, let us know what VAT is. VAT, or Value Added Tax, is a tax that is added to the price of most goods and services. As a business owner, you may charge VAT on the products or services you sell and then pay this VAT to HM Revenue and Customs or HMRC after deducting any VAT you have spent on your business expenses. The VAT threshold in the UK is currently £85,000 as of 2023, which means that if your business turnover exceeds this amount in 12 months, you must register for VAT. There are some benefits to becoming VAT registered as a sole trader, including number 1. Greater Credibility Being VAT registered can make your business look more professional and established which can help to build trust with customers and suppliers. Number two, claiming back VAT. If you're VAT registered, you can claim back the VAT you've paid on your business expenses, and this can reduce your VAT liability and improve your cash flow. Number three, competitive advantage. If your competitors are VAT registered, not being registered may put you at a disadvantage. Registering for VAT can help level the playing field and increase your sales. How to become VAT registered After knowing why you should register and decide to get registered or if you actually need to become VAT registered, the process is relatively straightforward. Here are the steps you'll need to take. Number 1. Check if you need to register As mentioned, if your business turnover exceeds £85,000 in 12 months, you must register for VAT. If your turnover is below this threshold, registration is optional but you may still choose to do so if it makes financial sense for your business. Number 2. Gather Information Before registering, you'll need to gather information about your business, including your VAT taxable turnover, business bank account details, and business activity information. Number 3. Register Online You can register for VAT online through the HMRC website. You must create a VAT online account and complete the online registration form. In addition, you also need to provide your business details, including your trading name, address, and contact details. Number 4. Wait for confirmation After you've submitted your registration, you'll receive a confirmation from HMRC within a few weeks. Once you've received confirmation, you can start charging your goods and services VAT. What are the obligations of being VAT registered? Once you're VAT registered, there are certain obligations you need to fulfill. Number 1. Charge VAT You'll need to charge VAT on the goods and services you sell and include this VAT on your invoices. Number 2. Submit VAT returns You must submit a VAT return to HMRC every quarter detailing your VAT sales and purchases. You'll need to pay any VAT due to HMRC by the deadline. Number 3. Keep accurate records for at least six years, you should keep accurate records of your VAT transactions, including invoices and receipts. Number four, comply with VAT rules. You must comply with VAT rules and regulations, including VAT rates and exemptions, and ensure you charge the correct amount of VAT on your goods and services. And we are done answering why and how sole traders become VAT registered. But before we finally end, we will also talk about some frequently asked questions about sole traders VAT and answer each of them. Number 1. What if my business turnover is close to the VAT threshold? Consider registering for VAT voluntarily if your business turnover is near the VAT threshold. This can help you avoid penalties for late registration and give you time to adjust to the new requirements. Just be aware that once you register, you'll need to start charging VAT on your sales and filing VAT returns, so it's essential to factor in the extra time and effort required. Number 2. What happens if I don't comply with VAT regulations? As a sole trader, it's essential to comply with sole traders' VAT regulations to avoid penalties and fines from HMRC. 
If you fail to comply, you may face a range of consequences depending on the severity of the issue. For instance, if you're late filing your VAT returns or making payments beyond the due date, you may be charged interest and penalties on the amount owed. If HMRC discovers that you've made errors or omissions in your VAT records or returns, they can investigate and potentially take legal action against you. In more severe cases like deliberate fraud or evasion, you could face criminal charges, fines, and even imprisonment. So it's essential to understand your VAT obligations and ensure you follow all the rules and regulations. Number 3. How can I keep track of my VAT records and returns? Keeping track of your VAT records and returns as a sole trader can be a headache, but plenty of tools and resources are available to help you. Maintaining a complete set of records of all your sales and purchases, including receipts and invoices, can help you quickly calculate the VAT you owe and ensure that you're claiming back any VAT you're entitled to. You can also use various software and tools to help you manage your VAT records and returns more efficiently. HMRC provides free tools such as the VAT Online Account and VAT MOSS, which can ease the online submission of your returns and payment. In addition, many third-party tools such as accounting software can help you track your VAT obligations and meet all the requirements. However, you should choose a reputable tool compatible with HMRC system to help you stay on top of your VAT obligations. Becoming VAT registered as a sole trader can give your business credibility, tax benefits, and competitive advantage. If your business turnover exceeds the VAT threshold, you must register for VAT, and if it doesn't, you may still opt to register if you think it is beneficial. And that's all for today. We hope this video helps you understand why and how sole traders become VAT registered. And if you want more professional advice on sole traders VAT, check out Sterling's global website at sterlingsglobal.com. If you enjoyed this content and want to learn more about accounting and taxation for business, please like the video and subscribe to our media channels. Again, I am Jay of Sterling's Global, and I will see you next time.